Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your Who's Coming Towards You love read. This will be a reading having a look to see who's coming in around you for love, romance and relationships. Can be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I will be looking into the kind of person this is first of all um, and I will be providing an extended version as well. And the extended version is um, going to look at the kind of relationship this person can offer you sort of a glimpse into what a relationship with them would look like um, and how they would act or be in a relationship so if you're interested in the extended um, following this general read um, it is available via the link below in the show more section uh, you'll also find my email there if you were after a private reading otherwise please feel free to subscribe to the channel um, to receive updates on any bonus readings or themed readings um, coming to the channel so let's have a look and see Pisces who's coming up around you for romance Okay, you've got the Priestess of Solitude, potentially an air sign coming in around you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as indicated by the sword, which the Priestess holds here. Um, this person is highly independent in nature, very strong-minded, and possibly a pioneer in something. They could be non-conforming. Okay, I feel like they're a little bit alternative, a little bit outside of the box, um, a little bit daring brave, different even, a little bit unconventional or something that you're not really used to. So definitely out of your type here, uh, Pisces. Now the eagle here could indicate this person is currently single, um, a little bit more reserved, okay, highly independent and in nature, um, could be highly spiritual as indicated by the rune stones here. Um, there could be a love of nature, but she's almost like uh, dressed for battle. You know, she's got the sword here. She's got this, what looks like this corset around her. So I do feel like you have someone who might be a little bit colder, maybe a little bit more intimidating, maybe a little bit more intense. Um, but I think you'll be intrigued by them, to be honest, Pisces. I think you'll like this about them. But definitely could be governed by air energy. Great speaker, communicator, quite analytical, observant going to be very attracted that's for sure the empress has come up um, very strong attraction for this person now she does have this halo around her um, it could almost symbolize the sun the empress can represent sun aries uh, sagittarius or leo in particular in this deck you see the sun here moth to a flame this person is magnetic maybe because of their looks maybe because of their charm maybe because of the way they carry themselves um, the Empress energy, someone very beautiful, very inspiring, um, someone who's sourced for their opinion, their talent, their looks, their input. Okay, so I feel like people are drawn to this person here. They're quite results driven and they like to make things happen for themselves. They could be a parent or they might be coming out of a marriage. And for some of you Pisceans, naughty, naughty, four of wands, they, this person could be married or taken or in a long commitment already okay and there's definitely going to be that attraction that starts to eventuate for some of you yes the solitude could indicate this person is single and available for others they've got the marriage card around them so if they're not married or committed Pisces the four of ones could indicate that this person um, is someone who is wanting those things okay so it could be vice versa it could be that they're going from married to single so separating um, or divorcing or breaking up or it could be that they're currently single and wanting or thinking about marriage with the four of wands energy I do feel like they're a fun loving person though I do feel like they like to um, immerse themselves in experiences and memories and things of that nature I do feel like they could be quite fun to be around um, once you get to know them. So the exterior, I think, is a little bit more rigid, a little bit more inflexible, but then once you get to know them, they very much have a fun-loving side. They could work with a lot of events, a lot of people, be invited to a lot of events. You might even be connecting through networking opportunities here, potentially, um, as well. And also tradition comes to mind. They could be quite traditional, especially if they do have this foreign link, which the Three of Wands can indicate someone that speaks a different language, someone that's coming from further afield. It could be an online connection, for example. It could be something that you meet at a, someone that you meet at a distance or that's foreign. Um, 
So that's potentially coming up around them. I feel like they like to plan for the future though. They like to think about the future. They like to plan for the future Pisces. They like to know what's ahead. Um, I don't know if they're a fan of surprises, to be honest. I think they like to know what's ahead for them. They like to create the path for themselves. Um, something about planning and long-term vision is coming up around them. Maybe they do this for work. Maybe it's just how they are uh, in, in their personality, in their nature. Uh, that could also be coming up around them. Of course, they'll work for themselves. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy coming forward here. Nine of Pentacles is a card of complacency. Um, I feel like this person is complacent or very comfortable where they're at in their life right now. So I feel like, um, yes, this could indicate someone who is, tr is, is more optimistic than pessimistic. Um, it could definitely indicate with the Nine of Pentacles, this person um, has nice things around them or they can afford nice things. Uh, they could be at uh, quite a good level in their career or they might have reached some sort of final or fulfilling stage um, in maybe buying a house, in maybe getting to a certain level in their career, in maybe saving a, a, an amount of money. Um, there could be something of that nature here with that nine of pentacles, but I think it points to complacency and being very present in the moment. Um, this person tries to be very present in the moment, I think. As much as they like to plan for the future and think about the future, there's something of that coming up uh, with the nine of pentacles here. But I think they're also at a point in their life where they could be enjoying themselves more. Um, for some of you, this person could retire early or be semi-retired or just like leisure time or their work allows for them to have a lot of leisure time or, or, or flexible free time sort of thing. Coming up with a chariot, which is cancer energy. So they can have cancer like traits here. Um, the bird guides the car, the car with the headlights here. Again, forward thinking. They're a forward thinker um, or they like to plan, think of the future. Great communicator, I feel, with the bird here. So they're a good, um, I, I feel like they are a good communicator, Pisces. Um, you know, the chariot could be someone quite kind and empathetic underneath the protective layer. Okay, the car has this protective gear to protect the people inside the car. You know, it's it's that element of exterior, of walls, of protection. So maybe they could be quite protective over their heart, you know, their ego. But I think underneath it all, there is a very vulnerable side to this person. And I think if they do have some sort of Cancerian influence in their chart, it's going to be very compatible with your Piscean um, influence. So straight away off the bat, we, we're seeing some compatibility here. Um, And they could be quite emotionally vulnerable as well. Um, they could do things, very emotionally rewarding things, okay, kind and compassionate things. Maybe that's something they're involved in. They could work with um, transport maybe, cars, imports, exports. Um, they could drive around a lot for work. There's, there's mobility around them, in, at least in some respect. And then they have the eight of chalices here. And this is a very whimsical um, a very whimsical card. I do feel like they're very creative or imaginative in some regard. Um, and I think in a lot of ways, this person is going to inspire you, Pisces, or you're going to be inspired by them, at least in some regard. You know, the Eight of Cups is seen as the wish card here, and you can see this figure. He's sort of entranced in this, in this earthy red-like wind, and you can see the stars around him, and it's sort of encapsulated him, and it just looks so dreamy, like it's swept up in something. I honestly have a feeling this person might sweep you off your feet, Pisces. There's something about them that's going to be so mesmerizing, so capturing, so intense. You know, it, it might leave you a little bit puzzled, sort of scratching your head going, well, what is it about them that makes me feel this way? Or, you know, um, but I do feel like they're quite romantic or they, they, they have this element of hope or romanticism. Um, or wishful thinking about them. And I think that's very much aligns with, with possibly your philosophy, your, your way of thinking, your mentality. So again, further reiterating that compatibility between um, the both of you, but making things happen or making wishes or dreams come true either for themselves or for other people is coming up around this person as well. 
I will leave the reading at that and continue with your extended, the link to which is below. Thanks so much for watching Pisces. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe and looking after yourself, yourselves and each other and hopefully we shall be connecting soon. Thanks again Pisces and bye for now.